What's up everybody? This video is going to be about one of my favorite PS1 games of all time, Skull Monkeys. Now let's get weird. Welcome back to all of my subscribers and if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do that. Back in 1998, a game company called The Neverhood released a game called Skull Monkeys for the PS1. The Neverhood Inc. was actually founded by Doug Tenaple, who was the creator of Earthworm Jim. He also worked on a few other Sega Genesis games that you may have played, like The Jungle Book, Ren and Stimpy, Stimpy's Invention, and even Jurassic Park. Skull Monkeys is a side-scrolling, single-player platformer that is the sequel to a game called The Neverhood. Unless you gamed on a PC way back in the day, you may have never played The Neverhood. The graphics on the game are very unique. They were actually made in a claymation style using plasticine. In the game, you play as a character named Clayman. During the beginning cutscene, you see the main villain, Clog, actually land on the planet Idznak, which is inhabited by the Skull Monkeys. One of the smarter Skull Monkeys, Jerry O, actually sees Clog trying to make plans to take over planet Idznak by using the Skull Monkeys to build something called Evil Engine Number 9. When Jerry O sees this happening, he actually sends one of his inventions to go to the Neverhood to capture Clayman and bring him back to Idznak to defeat Clog. In the game, you want to make your way from point A to point B in the level, collecting clay balls eventually to earn extra lives, much like you would Wumpa Fruit in the Crash Bandicoot games. And to defeat enemies, you could either jump on them or use one of the wide range of pickups that you get, like a Plasma Blast or the Homing Bird. Not a Humming Bird. Homing bird. Clayman makes the clay bird out of his hands by interlocking his fingers and sends it into the air and it will actually track down an enemy and explode. It's a lot funnier than it sounds. It's actually pretty hilarious. There are also some protective pickups in the game like a halo that will allow you to take an extra hit of damage or the hamster shield where three hamsters actually float around you and protect you from taking a hit of damage much like the turtle shells surround you in Mario Kart. But be careful with the hamster shield because if you happen to use one of the hamsters that is surrounding you by either running into an enemy or protecting yourself from damage, the enemies can still manage to get into the gap of space left with the two remaining hamsters surrounding you, so watch out. Another power-up that you can collect is an item called Fart Head. <laughs> fart. The Fart Head ability actually allows you to do just that and fart out of your head creating a green clone of Clayman that can scout ahead through the level, seeing if there's any dangers, and if you happen to make it through the level, you get to continue, but if you happen to hit an enemy or fall in a pit, you will have to start back where you left the fart out, and instead of having to start at the very beginning of the level or a checkpoint, it can come in handy. <coughs> You can actually find a couple of different bonus stages in the game as well. There are three icons that say 1970 hidden throughout levels that will actually take you to a 1970s themed bonus level. Or you can collect three swirly cues that will take you to a normal bonus stage with one of the funniest songs in the game. Here, you gotta check it out. Here's a little bonus room where you don't have to worry. Take your sweet time. You need Word. not hurry. Oh, you're looking incredible, you're the bomb, and me, I'm kind of like Word. and a little like your mom. There are no monsters here, hey, wait, look over there. I was just kidding. Don't be scared. And as you make your way through the game, you will encounter some pretty funny boss battles, like a giant skull monkey with a human head for a body that spits fireballs. I don't know, don't ask me. The game is absolutely hilarious and has some of the best cutscenes I've ever seen in a PS1 game. Check this small clip out. The game even taught me a new way to eat baked beans. Yeah. 
So if you've never played Skull Monkeys, it is definitely one that I recommend. You can actually find a copy of this game on eBay going anywhere from about $35 to about $55, depending on the condition. So what do you guys think about Skull Monkeys? Have you ever played it before? Are you going to try and grab a copy now that you've seen this video? If you've played the game, make sure to leave your favorite memory of it in the comments section. And if you haven't played the game, let me know your favorite part of this video. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up and share this video with your friends. This has been Rax the Great. Welcome to all my new subscribers and my current subscribers. You guys are the greatest. Thank you so much, and I will see you on another video.